Hey guys, this is Peter here with GoodyReader.com. Today we're going to teach you guys how to do second screen on your Fire TV and in conjunction with display mirroring on your Kindle Fire HDX 7 or 8.9. We're going to have some stills on the screen here to help you along. So what you do is you get your Kindle Fire, you go to settings, then you go down to display and sounds. Then you see it says display mirroring. This will not be, it will not say second screen. Unfortunately, they didn't keep the same name. And then you see we found Peter's Fire TV. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Discovering. Connecting. And then on your screen, you see it says display mirroring is starting soon. So now we have our Kindle Fire HDX 8.9 mirrored on our uh, Fire TV. Now it's not the best quality. You get a little bit of clipping here and there, a little bit of artifacting. You see that it's not formatted um, properly. At least on my TV, it is not formatted properly. And there's a little bit of bordering happening, but this is your Kindle. You can see here that we have all of our settings. And by the way, this, you see where it says VPN? This is how you allow your Kindle Fire HDX to pass through your Fire TV and allow you to utilize Hulu, uh, Pandora, Spotify, Netflix, and all other Amazon Prime and other US based services if you're outside the USA. This will be the only way to do that because there's no way to add any VPN or IP changes on the Fire TV alone. You'll have to utilize a Kindle Fire HDX and that is a heavy price tag to buy a Fire TV and a Kindle Fire HDX, link them together, purchase a VPN for the US just to watch can just to watch content. You could probably just watch on Netflix if you download it on your computer. So it's a very, very tall task. But you'll see here, if we go to books, these look very familiar. This is how you will, <laughs> if you want, this is how you'll read on your uh, 50 inch Sony TV. So this is truly your Kindle experience. Um, and also you can surely tell that we're not pulling your leg because the Kindle Fire HDX actually doesn't have a HDMI out like the Kindle Fire HD did. So um, we were not really just exporting the image of the Fire HDX and telling you it's second screening because uh, well, in fact you actually can't. <laughs> So uh, most of what you'll see on the Kindle HDX is available through the Fire TV. So the videos, the games, the apps, um, all that kind of stuff. The really thing you only don't get is books. So um, here's all your books. <laughs> Everything else is available, but as I said before, this is your gateway into getting a VPN set up on your Fire TV. It is the only way to do it. So, what else did we want to show you here? We just want to show you here, it says, Display Mirroring Connected to Peter's Fire TV. So, you can click on that, and it shows you what's going on here in the back end, and you can stop mirroring, and it will fade away back to your... Fire TV experience. So this has been a way of how to start up display mirroring or second screen, get that out of there, on your Kindle Fire HDX and your Fire TV. Unfortunately, you will need both devices because it is display mirroring. You can't do it with just one or the other. Um, for people that don't understand, the Fire TV is a um, set, it's a TV top, uh, Android Amazon device and uh, it's used to export your 
full fire experience on a full 1080p HD TV and will allow you to play games and videos and music and all that stuff but it is virtually 90% useless outside of the USA this HDX will allow you to utilize your fire TV a little bit more but you will have to buy both so for goodreader.com this has been a tutorial of how to do second screen